think lifestyle, when it all boils down to it, is really how you live your life. And I think it's so unique and individual to everyone. We certainly know that lifestyle has become a more important priority than ever. I think that's the real benefit of COVID's period of reflection, where people really think about what do I want, how do I want to live my life, and it is manifest in terms of lifestyle choices. So people are making change, exercising choices in a way they may not have done before. And with that, we've seen a, a real ongoing reassessment of uh, housing wants and needs. Our homes now are performing so many more functions. We're learning, teaching, working. So I think we're looking for those adaptable, flexible spaces in our home that can really grow with us and flex with our lifestyle. But we've also seen a shift in where people want to live. So we've seen a, a huge increase in the popularity of uh, regional locations. In days gone by, the city was, was the centre of everything and a lot of that was driven by where people had to work or commute. That has completely changed now, that dynamic, in terms of people having far more flexibility. And we've seen people really uh, making a shift towards the outer suburbs or towards regional locations where they can potentially live the best of both worlds. Definitely over the last few years, we've seen the importance of where you live and the people who live near you become much more important and people are looking for much more supportive environments around them. So the sense of community of where you actually buy has been incredibly important. We've never had more change in the last two years in terms of how people are choosing to live their life and that's that's something we have to keep focused on and, and keep growing with people because I think just when you think you've got it right it's going to change again so it's a, it's a constant evolution.